Hello everyone, I'm Too Many Lemons, and as many of you now know, on May 14, 2016, Darwin Cook has passed away of cancer. He was a brilliant comic book artist and writer that worked from time to time at DC, IDW, and Marvel. If you didn't know, Darwin tried early in his career to work on comics, but due to the pressure of making actual money, he was forced to move on to become an art director and graphic designer. He returned to comics in the 90s, to little success, but ended up being hired by a little guy named Bruce Timm at WB Animation to be storyboard artist for Superman the Animated Series and Batman the Animated Series. He then became head animator for Batman Beyond. After this success, DC approached him to work on a project he pitched years earlier named Batman Ego. This was an overwhelming success and led to Cook being hired by Marvel for Spider-Man's Tangled Web, among many other things. This success was only the start of great things to come, and here today, as a tribute from me to him, here are my top 10 over 2 comics written or drawn by Darwin Cook. Like all top 10 lists, and top 10 over 2 lists, this is my opinion. We all have different opinions, but believe me, I would really love to hear yours in the comments below. We should be celebrating Darwin Cook's life and work, and not fighting about what you or I think about it. Number 5. Catwoman Volume 1. Darwin Cook teamed up with Ed Brubaker for a four-issue Catwoman arc. This is one of the most significant Catwoman arcs in the title's history, not to mention they created one of Catwoman's most popular designs, one that stayed through the 2011 reboot, The New 52. In the story, Selina Kyle hears a rumor that Catwoman has died. She then decides to continue her work in anonymity, but quickly bored and disillusioned without the thrill of recognition and the infamy, Kyle uses this opportunity to overhaul her costume and decides to hit the streets and take aim at a serial killer targeting streetwalkers she calls friends. Number 4. Cook's most recent work, The Twilight Children. This miniseries ran over the course of four issues between October 2015 and January 2016. The book is seeped in Darwin Cook's signature style. The Twilight Children follows a tale of a beachfront community plagued with mysterious orbs of light. Over time, the orbs seem to become more and more mischievous, blinding local town kids, abducting the local drunk, and attracting shady government agents. But the arrival of a mysterious white-haired young woman is met with as much distrust and alarm as the orbs. But she seems to have the ability to keep the orbs in check. A simple and short sci-fi story, The Twilight Children is one beautiful-looking, suspenseful mystery. Number 3. Before Watchmen, Minutemen. The original Night Owl recounts his exploits with the Minutemen during the 1940s, while in the midst of his retirement, and he faces oppositions to the publication of his tell-all autobiography, although it heavily retcons certain characters' backstories by suggesting that a large part of Under the Hood was dirty lies and cover-ups, it was still awesome. Number 2. The Spirit, Volume 1. Cook obviously loved traditional comics, and you could tell while reading The Spirit. He brought a modern feel to classic stories in a way that I've never seen before. We see The Spirit go fight his arch nemesis, the octopus, and at one point is even joined by a couple of Batman characters. This was a fun book that was an original take on a classic style. Honorable mentions goes to things that I can't put on this list. Both the animated series of Batman and Superman, as well as Batman Beyond. If you've never seen them, I highly recommend all three. Number 1. The New Frontier. You all knew this was number one. It's his magnum opus, for God's sakes, and it's damn near perfect. Cook blends the Golden Age with Silver Age in a way that I have never seen before and will probably never see again. This book achieved the impossible. It became a classic the second it was released. It focused on the most comic book thing ever, a looming alien invasion and a distrusting government. But Cook's rendition of old heroes teaming up with the new generation is an amazing sight to see. This book also had the pleasure of being adapted to a film in 2008, which basically kickstarted the DC Animated Films division. So if you've ever liked a DC Animated movie, you owe Darwin Cook. And that's my top 5 books by Darwin Cook. And as a last send off, I just want to wish the best to his family and his wife Marsha, who are going through a very painful time right now. Just know that Darwin lives on through the pages he drew and wrote, through the wonderful stories he illustrated or told. He was a great and talented man, and we will all miss him. Thanks for watching, everyone. Make sure to leave a like and comment on what your favorite Darwin Cook books are. Until next time, see you!